Vincent, I won't keep you too long. You've done a lot of interviews already, but just sum up tonight, the feeling, your emotions right now. It must be feeling quite special. Out, outstanding, outstanding. You, um, it's, it's hard to even rank. You know these, these moments. I, 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 I've known them in the past, but this is this was special. Was special today. Everything about it, and I, I love the moment we got onto the bus and and we drove to the stadium. I. I've loved every moment during the game and after the game I could just yeah I could just enjoy and I hope the fans will remember it I hope the players will remember being here today and I hope as well that that on Monday Turf Moor will be electric and ready to um to celebrate but also to 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 keep winning to push this this group of lads on again when Barnes opened the scoring quite early on did that settle any nerves at all or if there were any or what were you sort of Emotions when the first one went in quite early. No, we look. We we know we know that we we have players who can score goals. We know we we have players who are crucial and important for for the team. Um, and whether it's Barnes is scoring his goal or Connor Roberts, I, I don't think we ever doubt that this team is able to to find a way. But it was a solid performance. Dif- difficult in terms of really really hard to impose our game, but um, we found a way. And then Connor's goal late on then a different side of emotions after Middlesbrough scoring quite early on in the, in the second half going into the final sort of 20 so minutes what are your thoughts from the touchline watching on you know is it the clock ticking down yeah I, th- I think these are the moments where you're kind of looking at your team and, and you want to see if, if they're able to see a game out you know just the little habits and winning your duels winning your second balls getting getting the fouls in the right areas you know and um, they manage the game. They manage the game as they've always done this season. It's um, yeah, it's it's a pleasure to work with this team. It really is. A word on the supporters. Obviously, backed us throughout and we're loud all night, and only t- two thousand of them could get yeah. tickets here tonight. But yeah. and the scenes at the end, it was just special just to watch. Yeah, and like I said, I hope that I've, I've I hope they have made memories tonight. I know we have, and. Um, I hope there'll be plenty more opportunities between now and the end of the season to make more memories. And I think we've earned the right to, um, with the, hopefully, with the momentum to just, yeah, just go, keep keep turf more electric until the end of the season. And finally, I imagine the title is now on your mind for the next sort of achievement, a milestone for you and the team. It is. It is. Yeah. It has. Like we we don't have we don't have a trophy. We don't have silverware in our hands and. Look, we, we've got we've got we've got to continue. We've got to continue playing to to win and, and, and giving our best. Thank you, well done. Thank you. Josh, congratulations. What a night that was. Promoted, tell us what that means. It just means everything. Um, I think you can tell by the lads' celebrations at the end, like, you know, it's an incredible feeling. You, you know, I haven't been promoted out of this division, something I wanted to do and to get it done here tonight. You know, for Burnley, for the fans, like it's incredible. Like, you know, it's very emotional because it lingers over you from, you know, sort of what happened last year. You want to forget it, but you can't really because you get relegated, and it's, you know, something that you can't forget. And I think tonight, you know, it's massive for everybody involved. It's come quite soon as well, which is good. You can sort of take that little bit of pressure off um, and enjoy it for the rest of the season. But you know, there's still games there to go and go and be champions and. Like I said, we'll enjoy tonight, the fans and us and the staff and everybody, you know, and there's another big game Monday. And that game, it had it all and it felt very different to it, going into it and being here as well. You were heavily involved in the first goal <laughs> um, and then they equalised and we, sort of, we could feel it in the stadium. What was going through your mind at that point? Yeah, I thought first half we were good, you know, created a few chances, obviously got the goal and, you know, the worst thing to do is come out after half time and, and concede um, you know, it doesn't help anybody. The momentum goes with them, and you know, you got to rally everybody around you. You know, there's still a long, long way to go, and there's going to be chances, probably for either team. And you know, thankfully, we took our chance, and you know, that, that feeling of when the ball hit, hits the net is just, you know, it's sensational, really. Yeah, and Connor, Connor Roberts. <laughs> yeah. <Again. laughs> oh, I'm so happy for him. Yeah. You know, he's, he, you know, he's had a up and down season at the beginning. You know, in and out, and. You know, he scored some good goals, uh, some big moments. Mm-hmm. And for him, I think it'll mean a lot, considering I think he was here on loan as well. Didn't really play many games, I think maybe one. Um, so I feel like for, for him, you know, I'm really delighted. You know, as a lad, he's a really good lad as well.
And it, it was amazing scenes with the, the fans uh, at full time as well. And then in the dressing room, there's lots of celebrations in there. How nice was that to celebrate after, you know, this time last year, we were in a very different position. How nice was it to, to celebrate with them yeah, tonight? Yeah, it's, it's incredible. And uh, like I say, it's a shame it's not home where we can have it in front of our own fans. But, mm -hmm. you know, for the fans that deserve, uh, that have come all this way, they deserved it. And like I say, you know what's at stake before the game, but you don't want to feel it because, you know, there's a game to play. And, you know, you, you set on the game and, I say last five minutes it was you know you're looking at the clock you're looking at the referee and they say I was getting a bit of goosebumps and you know thinking that we're five minutes away from the Premier League and and then as soon as that final whistle went you don't really know how you're going to react and yeah it just took over and it sort of goes really goes really fast and like I say that feeling you just want to bottle it up and keep it forever. And you know wearing the captain's armband as well on a night like this a really sort of special moment did you feel that responsibility with the squad in terms of gearing them up and making sure that we, we held on to the win right till the end? You yeah. took that leadership role really well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, whether I'm wearing the captain's armband or not, you know, Jack Cork has he's been excellent. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, as a as a as a lad as well, you know, he's he's brilliant and the way he helps everybody. Um, you know, when he's not on the pitch I take the responsibility. But like I say, with or without the armband I'll try and lead and, 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 and take everybody through and you know, the thing about me, I'll give 100% no matter what. I might not have the best game all the time, but there's one thing you can guarantee, and I'll, I'll, I'll work hard and I'll mm -hmm. get everybody going. And like I say, to wear the armband coming out here it, with a game that means a lot, you know, it means a lot to me as well. Um, so, you know, I'm just really delighted. And so there's, there's still, has the manager will say, still lots of work to do. Uh, and a quick turnaround as well, Monday, Sheffield United. How are you feeling ahead of that game? Yeah, I'm excited, to be honest. Um, you know, it's a chance for another game to, to go and, hopefully win uh, with a team that beat us early on this season. Um, and there's a lot of stake still, you know, to try and be crowned champions is what we want to do. I say it's a, it's a good feeling. We're promoted to the, cha uh, to the Premier League, uh, but we want to be champions at the end of the day. So we're going to fight for that. Definitely. Well, well done. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> very, very well done. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Josh.